A major gas shortage looms for Australia from next year, posing a risk to electricity supply and security in several states. An assessment from the Australian energy market operator is warning that, without a swift response, Australia could face a difficult choice, keeping the power on versus cutting gas supplies to residential and business customers. If we do nothing, we're going to see shortfalls in gas, we're going to see shortfalls in electricity, BMO Chief Operating Officer Mike Cleary said. The analysis said without new development to support more gas-powered electricity generation, modeling showed supply shortfalls of between 80 gigawatt-hours and 363 gigawatt-hours could be expected from summer 2018-OR19 until 2020-OR21. Widespread shortages are predicted to hit New South Wales and South Australia first, then Victoria in 2021, and Queensland between 2030 and 2036. EMO said the anticipated shortfalls would breach its reliability standard, which was an aim to supply at least 99.99% of electricity demand. The report warns EMO could be forced to curtail gas supplies to big users in winter next year to prevent the shortage in Victoria and South Australia unless a pipeline upgrade can be fast-tracked. An upgrade of the Southwest Pipeline is required to refill an underground gas storage facility at Iona in Victoria, which is used to help meet peak winter demand. The EMO report makes clear Australia's energy mix is facing big challenges, with export of liquefied natural gas now a dominant factor for the eastern states, production from existing gas fields in decline, and electricity demand rising. It said some state governments were prohibiting onshore gas development with bans or moratoriums on fracking. To meet electricity supply needs, the NAM national electricity market requires either increases in gas production or a rapid implementation of alternative non-gas electricity generation sources, the assessment said. Gas power generation is required. To provide operational flexibility by increasing and decreasing generation relatively quickly to meet changing demand when wind and solar generation unavailable.